So 11h was the sine function, 11i was the cosine function, uh, or the ratio, and now we're going to use the tan function. So example 13, uh, firstly, angle opposite and adjacent sides, that means I must be using tan. So we have tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Feed in the information that I have, tan 62 equals x divided by 9. So x equals 9 times tan 62, which I can type in. 9 tan 62, oh, and I get 16.9 centimeters to three significant figures. And I'm just going to do a quick check. Yeah, well, yes, 62 degrees. I ask myself, what would the length of x be if that angle was 45 degrees? Well, that would make it 9. So bigger than 45 degrees, degrees means that x should be bigger than 9. And this is 16.9. That's probably about, well, it's not probably, it is absolutely perfect. So that's 13. Let's have a quick look at example 14. Again, we're going to find the unknown is on the bottom, so we need to do our two-step manipulation. So we have tan, because it's opposite over adjacent. Tan theta is o over a. So tan 35 degrees equals 6 divided by a. Unknown, we're trying to get by itself, a. So we have a tan 35 times both sides by the denominator equals 6. So a equals 6 divided by tan 35. We can work that out. 6 divided by tan 35. And that's 8.57 centimetres. And that's to three significant figures. Does that look about right? Yes. Again, but we can think about this angle here. If that's 45, then this side and this side are the same. As it's less than 45, I'm anticipating that um, the opposite side is shorter than the adjacent. So A being 8.57 looks pretty good to me. So that's uh, everything prior to this exercise. Any questions, issues, let me know. Otherwise, crack on and get used to using the tan function.